Yo, what's going on guys? Flames in here and today I'll be bringing you guys a brand new video. Today I'll be doing a price analysis and price prediction on Block or Blocktopia. Before we get into it, if you could leave a like, subscribe and turn on those notifications so you don't miss out. Also, if you'd like to join my Telegram in the link in the description, it's just general crypto discussions here and there and I'll also be posting different trades that I make every day. And lastly, if you would like to make up to $100 for free in Bitcoin, just join the BlockFi link in the description as well. Now just sit back and enjoy. Okay, so we're starting off here on coin market cap and we have a $61,600 Bitcoin and we have a $4,300 Ethereum. Now, if we're to move over here and take a quick look at BTC here on TradingView, we'll go to the daily here and see where we actually managed to close. So we did actually break above this 8 EMA as I was talking about there yesterday, close above that. And then our conversion line here for the Ichimoku, we actually did manage to close above that as well there. But unfortunately, we have sort of rejected off that and we are falling down here. But if we take a look at the 4R or even the 1R here, we have actually come down here, tested this downtrend line here. Let me move this. So I had this sort of fallen wedge drawn up here. I was actually looking at it on the 15 minute chart here, hoping that we would break out here to the upside. We did have a few wicks down below it here, but we managed to break up towards this and now we have held this as support. So hopefully we can sort of start moving on up here and finally flip that 62K area back to support. We did hold it back here yesterday for a few hours there and we actually held it there again until we fell down below it here at around 3 a.m. this morning. We've now sort of just been bouncing around this area, holding this box that I have drawn up here Hopefully, as I said, we do get a bounce off here and then we can flip 62K to support and then make our way on up towards this sort of 63, 64K mark. But I would be saying within the next sort of couple of weeks, we will be back above this sort of all time high at around that 67K mark and we will be continuing to make new all time highs. Now we'll move back on over here to coin market cap. And we will now have a look at block also known as Blocktopia. So it is currently sitting at rank 2,703. We're at 13 and a half cents right now. We're currently up 53.31% today. Our market cap is 561 million. Our circulating supply is 4.16 billion and our max supply there is 200 billion. If you're to come down here, our all time high is definitely today there. Yeah, it was three hours ago and it was around 14.3 cents. We're currently down 5.5% from that all time high. If you don't actually know what this is, we'll have a quick read here. Blocktopia is a skyscraper made up of 21 levels to pay recognition to 21 million Bitcoin. Token holders will be known as Blocktopians. It will act as a central hub and welcome all levels of crypto experience. For the first time ever, users will have access to crypto information and immersive content all in one place. Blocktopians will be able to earn revenue through real estate ownership, advertising revenue, play games, build networks, and much more. By using the world's most advanced real-time 3D creation engine, Blocktopia will leverage this technology to create stunning visualizations and user experience. So if you do know what this is, I personally think this is very strong and I do think all these sort of metaverse coins are going absolutely crazy right now. There's a few on KuCoin that are going mad and KuCoin is actually where I did manage to pick myself up some blocks. So I am invested in this myself and I do see this blown up way more than it already has. But if you want to do a little bit more fundamental research here, you can come over to blocktopia.com and this is where you can sort of see anything that you need to figure out. You can see the visuals here. So that is obviously pretty cool there. You can scroll down here, just do all the sort of fundamental research that you do actually need. And if you do figure that you do want to invest in this, you can come back over here to CoinMarketCap and click on markets. And this will show you where you can actually pick yourself some up. So KuCoin is the number one volume holder there with 92%. Um, that is probably where I would actually advise you to go and pick yourself some up. That is where I got mine there late last night. And I know this says low confidence here. I don't know why it does say that. Usually you would be sticking to the high confidence ones, but in this case, KuCoin is safe in my opinion. So that is where you could actually get it. But if we actually move over here to trading view now, I will now do some price analysis on this and then I will give you a price prediction as well. So. We're on the daily here. Obviously, as you can see here from release there, we have actually moved. We'll go from the bottoms here all the way up to the top. So at our all time high there today, this was up 80,000% if you actually did manage to buy the bottom here. So congratulations to anyone that heard of this and bought this back on the 6th of October. You're absolutely rolling in it now. That's unreal. But if you're actually currently sitting without yourself some, 
I will actually drop back to the 4R here. And I've already ran a fib from this bottom of the move to the top here. And this is where I was sort of looking at it and I was wondering where I was gonna buy myself some. And I actually did manage to buy it in and around, where was it, at around 3 a.m. So it was in and around this price here. I was just thinking, we've tapped this and we've wicked down here, got a nice bounce and it was looking fairly strong. So I did say to myself, okay, I'm gonna buy some here. And obviously since then it has broken out again and has went absolutely crazy. We blasted up above this 1.618, come back, nearly retested the 1.5 there. But even if we're to drop back to the one hour, yeah, as you can see, the 1.628 did hold us nicely there as support. But if you're actually sitting without yourself some, I will remove this for now. And you could run yourself a fib. You could run it from this bottom to this top, or you could go from this bottom. But I'll just go from this bottom back here, all the way up to our top there. And I would be saying, if you were looking to sort of get in on this, I wouldn't be market buying it at this price. I would say that you could wait for it to maybe roll over here. But if you do see it come down here, test this 236, it does hold as support. You could get some nice buy orders in there before it bounces towards the upside. But just putting a little bit more of a bearish scenario on this, I would probably be placing some buy orders in and around this 382 here at around that 10.6 cents mark. I'd also just be laddering it down this Fibonacci here. I'd have another one here on the 0 0.5 at around nine and a half cents. And then lastly, I would have another one down here on the 0 0.618 here at around that eight and a half cents mark as well. Now I do think if we do come down here to the 0 0.5, I'd say that around this sort of nine and a half cents mark is pretty solid support there. So we could come as low as that, get a nice bounce on up towards the upside there, but I would just be laddering your buy orders from this 382 down to the 0 0.618 just in case. Now let me actually have a look here and see if there is a BTC pair there. Unfortunately not, so I can't actually show you where you could buy yourself some with your SATs. But if you're sitting with some spare USDT, you actually do your own research on this and you do figure that you want to buy yourself some, I would say a lot of buy orders from 10 and a half cents down to around that eight and a half cents mark would be pretty good. Now, if we're to actually take a look at a price prediction for this thing, this is kind of hard because it's fairly new and there isn't actually that much data, but we will work with what we can. So. If we are to zoom back on out here, we'll go to the 12 R here and we'll run a fib here from this top. We'll just go from out here all the way down to this bottom here. And we're to start taking a look at some fib extensions here. So if we look on up, this 1.618 here is sitting at around that 23 cents mark. And in my opinion, that will easily be smashed. Honestly, it could be smashed in a few hours time, but I'd say if we do sort of retrace down here and get a nice bounce on up, I would say that we will definitely be seeing this 1.618 here hit at the start of November. But if we're to keep coming on up here, I do think that this 2.618 sitting at around that 37.6 cents mark, I do honestly think that that will be hit as well. If we're to just keep moving on up here, that 3.618 at 50 cents, I'll actually mark that up as a psychological level here as well. I do think we'll be blasting on through that fairly soon because I do think this sort of meta craze that is going on right now is gonna be absolutely insane. You saw how AXS did, that thing absolutely blew up and I do think it will continue to keep growing and making new all-time highs this year. And the market cap of Blocktopia is tiny in comparison, but we'll actually take a look at the market cap in a while. If we keep moving on up here, this 4.6 when it's sitting here at around that 66 cents mark, I would say that that could be hit fairly soon as well. And I do think if we keep moving on up here, this 5.6 when it's sitting at around 80 cents is also doable towards the end of the cycle. In fact, for this video, I am gonna be putting a price prediction of about $1 on Blocktopia towards the end of the cycle. Now, if that sounds crazy to you, I don't really know why it would. If you've researched the fundamentals, you know what this thing is about, and you see what sort of money is flowing into gaming type cryptos, you will understand why I think this could easily push up towards $1. Now, if we take our calculator out and take a look at what sort of money it would take us to get there, so we'll go $1, and we'll divide that by our 13 cents, 09, and that would give us a 7.63x from current prices to push on up towards that $1 mark. Now, if we're to move over here, take a look at our market cap and multiply this by 7.63. So that would be times 561,782,755. And that would give us a $4.3 billion market cap for us to push on up just above $1. Now, as I said, I do think that is easily doable for the end of this cycle. And I honestly do think we will probably be going well on past that. 
but we'll keep to $1 for this price prediction. So if we move on over here and see where a $4.3 billion market cap would actually put us here on the rankings, it would put us just below flow here in at around 43rd. So as I say in every video, I do think a lot more money is gonna be flowing into the total market cap here and a $4.3 billion market cap would probably be pushed. It could be pushed out of the top 50 and even probably out of the top 75. And I do think, in my opinion, the Blocktopia definitely deserves to be pushed up into the top 75. And I do think that will be happening very soon. If you actually take a look here at AXS, where is that sitting now? This thing went absolutely crazy this year. So it is currently sitting now with a $9.3 billion market cap. And this is the same sort of genre that we're talking about here. There is a few others. Um, I'm gonna have a look at UFO. I might make a video on that as well. But I do think all these sort of meta crypto gaming type projects are gonna do very, very well around Q4 of 2021, going on into Q1 of 2022. And I do think that Blocktopia could easily be pushing up towards this $1 price point towards the end of the cycle. I hope that's what you wanted to hear. If you did enjoy, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and turn on those notifications so you don't miss out. I love you all. Peace.